where Senator Barack Obama is expected to come out and greet supporters, speak to them within the next hour or so. So how much does a semester's worth of books cost a college student? We took six textbooks, some used, some new. Both campaigns will be trying to influence the coverage of tonight's debate and getting in and out of here already tough. What needs to happen tonight for Senator Obama to be able to pull this out? I'm 5'9", so that should give you an idea of just how high up off the ground these trucks really are. Getting all the action caught on tape from inside the camera onto screens large and small takes a lot of work, but political watchers say it's worth it. Somebody here just paid more than $40 for about 15 gallons of gas, but those gas tax savings still have to go through the Senate. Instead, they're bringing in a lot of European products like this one. And that House committee is just brainstorming ideas right now. The next legislative of session doesn't start until January of next year. You're going to be standing in two lines. You're going to stand in this one, and then when you're done, don't walk away. And you don't have to wait in this line. In a place usually reserved for the rodeo. I got here pretty early, got here about 6.35. Texas Democrats corralled themselves by the thousands to pick a president. After today, it should be pretty clear. Caucusing Texas style is a step-by-step -step process where delegates represent voters who support either presidential candidate. Let's ask the six people to come over here. They must show up. Angela Crow. Badges up. So their candidates are counted. You're here to be elected as a delegate so you can go on and support your candidate further. 47 to 57. The rodeo venue may have been a perfect place. At times, the convention sounded more like a livestock show. 450, 452. And conventions like this one are happening across Texas. We got a lot more Democrats than we've ever had before. But with so many Democratic voters in Travis County, the almost 7,000 delegates here make this the biggest convention in the state. It's astonishing to see so many Democrats in one room, to be honest with you. Getting through it all meant preparation. But I did. <laughs> bring three packs of cigarettes. <laughs> and patience. And they hung in there because they knew it's important. The least that I can do is stay here for 12 hours. 12 hours after they first crowded inside, this rodeo wrapped up with Barack Obama, the big winner. Okay, here they come. Like ants marching to a summer picnic, customers come in. Come on in. For the banner, they will yet wave. This is a two and a half by four. At Austin Flag and Flagpole. It's huge. It's our busiest day of the year. Definitely. It's bringing this place more business. One shouldn't wait till the third to do it, huh? July 3rd is their version of Christmas Eve. This business is now seeing the same number of customers in one hour. Um, I don't know that you'll be able to get it installed by tomorrow, though. As they normally see in one day. Getting shipments in and shipping them out and people coming in and um, businesses wanting their flag poles up and new flags before the 4th of July. Customers are coming in for more than just flags. They need their accessories, too. Everything from balls to brackets, tassels to ties, cords to the popular perched eagle, and don't forget the spears. Of course, we have a lot of different kinds of doohickeys here. The stars and stripes fly off these shelves so they can soon fly high above homes and businesses. It's the flag of the United States. It means something to me. That's it. I don't know. It makes me really proud, and especially just driving around town and seeing flags flying that look really pretty and knowing that we sold those flags. Here, America's proud traditions. There we go. Patriotism and consumerism combined. Have a good day. Elise Hugh, KVU News.